Today's lesson is on graph behavior and average rates of change. So everything in this lesson really is an Algebra 1 concept. We're just going to put a little bit of a pre-calculus spin on it. Okay, so starting out is just graph behavior. Looking at this graph, can we describe the intervals where that graph is increasing, decreasing, and constant? And we're going to use interval notation. So where is this graph increasing? So left to right, it's increasing here and here. So it is increasing. Um, so we're looking at x values. It's increasing from, let's see, including negative 6 to negative 4. And then it's also increasing from 2 to 3. And that is it. So now let's look at when is it decreasing. So left to right decreasing here and here. So decreasing on the interval negative 1 to 2. And decreasing on the interval 3 to 5. And then last one, constant. It is constant right here on the flat spot. So it is constant on the interval negative 4 to negative one. And that is it for the graph behavior, increasing, decreasing, and constant. Okay, and now we're looking at average rates of change. So the formula is the, I mean, essentially it's change in Y divided by the change in X. So it would be if you have um, two points, we would have the y value, f of b, minus the other y value, f of a, over b minus a. Now, in Algebra 1, what we did is we just called this finding the slope between two points. And we called it y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So that should definitely look, look familiar. This is just kind of the more formal way to write it. And this is called the difference quotient. So the difference and then the quotient. Okay, so for this graph, I'm just gonna kind of sketch it out here. I'm gonna just pick some points. So I'm gonna put a point at negative seven, negative four, a point negative six, zero, um, negative four, four, um, zero, negative three, four, three, and five, nine. This honestly, this is just me making up a graph. Okay. So in Algebra 1, you would always find the slope of a line. What we're doing here is, so we've got this polynomial function. I want to find the average rate of change from two of the intervals. So from this point, this is the point negative 7, negative 4. And then the other point is the point 5, 9. I want to find the average rate of change between those two points. So if I connect them over that interval, it makes a straight line that I could find the average rate of change for. Uh, when you do this, this line is called a secant line. And two ways to find that average rate of change. Um, if we're using that formula, change in y so subtracting those y values, 9 minus negative 4, which is the same as 9 plus 4. And then subtracting those y or the x values, 5 minus negative 7, which is the same as 5 plus 7. And then the other way to do this, you should all remember, is rise over run. So you should get 13 twelfths. That's the slope of our secant line. It's the average rate of change 
from these between these two points. Okay, the last example is I just give you a function. So f of x equals negative x to the third plus 2x squared minus 10. And we want to find the average rate of change over the interval from negative 2 to 5. So we don't have a graph, we just have function and an interval. So uh, in algebra 1, it was always just to find the slope between two points. Well, this one we have a function and an interval, so we have to find our two points. What we need to do is that difference quotient, so we have to find f of 5 minus f of negative 2 over 5 minus negative 2. So that's the same thing as just the change in y divided by change in x. Okay, if I plug in 5 into this function, I will get negative 85. And if I plug in negative 2, I will get 6. So 85, negative 85 minus 6 over, this goes to 5 plus 2. So negative 91 over 7 is negative 13. So the average rate of change from negative 2 to 5, if you, to, if you were to connect two points on this graph, it would have a slope of 13. The secant line would have a slope of 13, negative 13. So there is your full video on average rates of change and graph behavior. Good luck with your lesson.